Babies, although cute, don't we wish they came with an instructional manual? As new parents, we often are lost at how to care for these little ones. At birth, they need their parents to provide for all their needs. A child's physical needs are the most obvious because children must be fed, have their diapers changed, and be clothed. Just as important, but perhaps not so obvious, is a child's emotional needs. If a child has his physical needs met, but if the parent or caregiver is cold and unresponsive towards the child, this child will lack the positive emotional development for a healthy life. Infants need their parents and caregivers to help them regulate. Dr. Elizabeth Nelson says those first few months, emotional regulation really comes from the outside. It is something a caregiver can sort of lend to their infant. In other words, when a parent comforts a young child who is upset, the parent is doing the calming. This repeated experience of a child being upset and then being calmed is actually a means to help the child adjust emotionally to his distressful situation. Early experiences and attachment can't really be severed from parents and caregivers because it is the significant adults in a child's life that will create either the positive or negative experiences for that child. And it is these experiences which will deeply influence the emotional well-being of the child. Another factor influencing emotional regulation is biological causes. This could be such things as allergies, brain trauma, or developmental disorders. According to John Santrock from the University of Texas at Dallas, early attachments seem to foreshadow later functioning. Healthy attachment is a special relationship that should develop between parents and their child. It is a positive emotional connection due to a nurturing and secure relationship between parent and child. Secure attachment is a result of consistent loving responses from a parent that provides safety and security. On the other hand, any insecure attachment has the characteristics of unpredictable responses from a parent. The child just doesn't know what to expect. His needs are often met with indifference, ridicule, or insensitivity. Although any insecure attachment is not good, the disorganized attachment is probably the most concerning because the behaviors of the parents or caregivers can be described as frightening, dissociated, sexualized, or otherwise atypical. When a comparison is made, the child who is loved and who is securely attached will have a greater propensity towards positive brain development because all of the gentle and soothing touches, hugs, sights, sounds, and movement he has received will contribute to the organization of the neural networks of the brain. His language and moral development will be enhanced. He will be more emotionally healthy, learning such skills as empathy and identifying emotions. A child who has learned emotional regulation in a loving home environment is better prepared for school and academic curriculum. Compare this list to the neglected child and one can see what a great advantage the loved, securely attached child has over the neglected child. How can parents promote secure attachment which assists the child in his emotional regulation? It is important for parents to look at and talk to their child as they care for him. Digital devices are so common and it is tempting to think a parent can play games or text while feeding or interacting with the child. Parents should put aside their digital devices and give their attention to the child. Only by doing so can a parent be fully engaged in meeting the needs of the child. Play and have fun with the child. Spend lots of time with him. Remember, children mimic what they see. They watch the way parents handle emotions and the way they relate to others. If a parent manages his own emotions in a positive way, then the child is more apt to do so as well. According to Becky Bailey, author of I Love You Rituals, the bond between parent and child is the child's primary source of emotional health. 
So parents should be intentional to create an environment where a child feels loved, secure, and safe.